What's up guys, it's Dallas from Softmodder, and today I'm going to show you how to ensure that your device can be located if someone ever steals it. Now there's a very cool thing that comes with your phone called Android Device Manager. Well the service comes pre-installed, but the app does it. But it's the service that allows you to do things like locate and lock your device if it's ever lost and stolen. You just install the companion app on another Android device, or go to google.com slash android slash device manager, and when you log in with your Google account, you can see your phone on the map. Only problem with that is, if a thief turns your phone off, or even just puts it in airplane mode, it can't report its location, and you can't wipe or lock it. So we'll go through a few steps to help you prevent such a scenario. First, you need to make sure the device manager is active, and has all the permissions that it needs. Go to Settings, then Security, and tap Device Administrators. In here, Android Device Manager should be checked already, but if not, tick the box next to it, and hit Activate when asked. Next, back out and go to Location to make sure that Mode is set to High Accuracy. These other location modes will work, but if your phone is ever stolen, you'd surely like it to have the most accurate location possible, right? Then down here at the bottom of the list, tap Google Location Reporting. And here, make sure that this top entry is set to On. With all that in mind, you now know that Device Manager can locate your phone if need be. But what about the thief just turning your phone off? What's to stop him from doing that? Well, next we'll have to enable some sort of lock screen security. If you don't have security enabled on your phone already, head to Settings, then back into Security, and this time tap Screen Lock. Here, pick one of the three P's, Pattern, Pin, or Password. Go through the setup, and I'll, I'll use Pattern to demo. You swipe to connect these dots in a unique pattern that only you know, then hit Continue. Enter the pattern again to confirm, and when you're done, you'll have lock screen security. This means that anybody who picks up your phone can't just unlock it and disable the device manager. But if you look, even with lock screen security, someone can still just turn the phone off or put it in airplane mode. That's where Kenneth SO168 and his exposed module advanced power menu come into play. For this part, you'll need to be rooted with the exposed framework installed, but I've got all that stuff covered for you if you check out the link in the description below. So fire up the exposed installer app and search advanced power menu. Then swipe over to the Versions tab and download the top result. When it's finished, the installer will launch. Hit Install from there, and when it's done, hit the button on the notification that says Activate and Reboot. I've already done all this on my other Nexus here, so we'll go through the setup on that one. Open the Advanced Power Menu app, and right up top you'll see Anti-Theft Helper. Tick that box, and it'll reveal a few more options. Hit Hide ATH Description if you don't want to see a message that the device is locked. I can't seem to get this fake power off option to work, so we'll skip that one. The last one is for removing the volume toggle on the power menu, which is helpful if you want to call your phone to hear it ring. Then if you go through the rest of these settings, there are other options for customizing your power menu in general. But these anti-theft helper options only apply to the lock screen, meaning that your usual buttons will still be available to you when you're using the phone. They just won't work on the lock screen. So let's see it in action. Here we have a pattern lock, meaning that some random guy can't just go through all your stuff or even disable Android Device Manager altogether. And if he hits the power button, he can't turn the phone off or put it in airplane mode. So you can use the Device Manager to locate the phone. So picture him over here struggling and failing to stop the phone from reporting its location. Then you come in using the website or the Android Device Manager app on a different phone. Now you can locate this device, even lock it, wipe it, or make it ring really loud, and he can't do anything about it, except wait for the battery to die, or for the police to arrive, whichever comes first. But yeah, for the full breakdown, be sure to check out the link below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys, but until then, happy soft modding.